So if you are someone who already does a lot of art, you might already have an art journal um, and you don't even realize it, but maybe you sketch a lot, you throw some poems, some quotes, maybe you write a little, jot down your dreams, glue things into your journal, and that itself is an art journal. Um, if you're somebody just starting out doing an art journal or you don't think of yourself as an artist, you can look up different prompts. So. Some of these I found in, on Pinterest and online when I Googled mental health art journal. This page is a mental wellness pie chart and it's just a cute way to show what are the important things in my life and how much time do I need to spend doing them. I did this with pencil, pen and ink and watercolor. This page I also found on Pinterest, what I would tell teenage me. Uh, I also did this one with watercolor pencil and pen and I wrote in all kinds of stuff including a quote that I thought was really important to me. I did my self-care needs, mental, emotional, and physical. And then I kind of just freestyled and made this stuff up. I really like rainbows so I did one of my favorite quotes with a rainbow. Um, I've been messing personally with trying to paint trees so I did some trees with another, with another quote. Art journaling is not about the final product, it's about the process, so I have to really let go myself as an artist. For example, I have horrible handwriting and I have to remind myself, it doesn't matter because this is just for me. For this page, you can see that I used a stamp. I did my own drawing, I did watercolor, I used a stamp, I used the highlighter, and I used one of the neon gel pens. So I did a whole bunch of different products. This page I really had fun with. I used these ripped pieces and I thought, oh, it looks like a mountain. So I did the mountain. I just um, glued them in with the glue stick. Uh, I also wrote down a quote I really liked and I used some of the um, Tombow pens and a little bit of watercolor. And the last pages I have to share with you this I straight up copied from Pinterest. So if you're worried about not feeling like an artist, you're not reselling this stuff. It's just for you, so you can copy things. I took a piece of scrapbook paper and it actually already had like a hole in it. So I just cut more holes in it to make it look like it was on purpose. <laughs> I redrew what it what it had on the Pinterest. I used, um, I used watercolors and pen and ink. This page, you can tell I used a little stamp and I bottled up some of the negative thoughts I had about myself. And in fact, I even made it look like it had gross, like slimy green water in there. Um, but I bottled them up. I liked the stamp because it had the little heart and I remembered to kind of put those away and remember to love myself first.